Welcome, welcome again to the US Visa Success Series. This is video 17. In the 16 videos, I have covered a lot of topics, but most important is practice. If you're not going to practice, you will not know how to answer, or you may fumble at the time of visa interview. You will not have clarity in your thoughts. And if you don't practice, probably you will not be able to show the confidence that you have to show at the time of visa interview. So practice, practice, practice. That's why we have Zoom unlimited for you in case you want to take our US visa services. We have, I've given the link in the description for you to have schedule uh, the first Zoom one-on-one -on -one free. And later on, once you are interested, you can register for our services and then I will give you the unlimited Zoom one-on-one -on -one and help you with your documentation. Let's come to today's video. Today I'm going to talk about the, if you are a special sponsor, how we are going to answer the question. So first I talked about your parents as a sponsor. Then I talked about your uncle as a sponsor. And now I'm talking about you as a sponsor. So what type of questions can come? Now these are, there are, good number of people who can sponsor their education. You know, they have been working hard, they have a good saving, they have an education bank loan and they can sponsor. So when they are going to do the sponsor themselves, what are the possible questions? First, who is your sponsor? I'm going to sponsor my education or I am sponsoring myself and plus I have an education bank loan of around 40 lakhs. What is your income? So you, my income is around 26 lakhs per annum. How many dependents are depending on your income? Now, if there are no working family, a working member in your family, then probably let's say your mother, father, maybe if you have a brother or sister, they are dependent. If they are working, then you can say that there are no one depending on my income. If there are some people who are depending, then you say there are four people who are depending on me. Now, if there are four people depending on your income, the question will come that how will they survive when you are going to study abroad? So you can say that basically I have a, a investment of around 46 lakhs, which I've kept in the FD and the interest is good enough to cover up the expenses. Plus, basically, we have two house properties which are on rent and the rental income also comes, which is good enough to take care of the day-to-day -day expenses. So even if I'm not working, you know, their daily expenses and their needs would be fulfilled. So they are not depending on my work income. Now, do you have, are you married? Now, some of them are married, some are single. So if you're single, you can say I'm single. If you're married, then how many kids you have? If you don't have kids, you say I don't have kids. If you have kids, then you will say basically, how will your kids manage? How, your, how will your wife manage? So you tell them basically, I'm going just for a one year program or for two years program, because this will help me to go further in the uh, at, at a manager role and my income would basically be at least two times, if not more. And that's the motivation why I'm going for my study abroad. If you have kids, you, you have a reason of coming back. Uh, the visa officer could treat you as a potential immigrant, but you have to justify my kids are in the school. They are basically in eighth grade or fifth grade or fourth grade. And it would be basically, uh, I do not want to risk. All my, my parents are also old, aged. I'm the oldest son, so I will have to come back to take care of them. So, you know, I will come back to India. So somewhere you have to show that if you are not married, then uh, you have your parents, you, uh, your family, to, for who reasons to come back to India, right? Now, what is your bank balance? So if you say 25 lakhs, then your bank balance is not sufficient. So you can say I have education bank loan of 40 lakhs. Okay. What is your qualification, last qualification? Then you tell them what is the work profile. You tell them about your work profile. To whom were you reporting? You tell 
where what's your company name what was your designation okay what is your company phone number how did you travel to the company these are some of the questions can come if you have uh self sponsor the other most important question is how is your work experience related to the program that you are planning to do in us so i'm presently working as an hr for last 4 years at a, and now with this mba in hr i would be able to work at a management level higher management level uh, or in a management consultancy with my work experience and the mba degree and my salary would be close to around 46 lakhs per annum there are companies like whichever you want to say abc xyz that are looking for such type of profile and my job with my work with my education qualification in usa will make me a good prospect to join this company so if you are working use it as an asset connected with the program that you are going have a plan you know if there are dependents on you try to see that you have a valid reason to give on how your how your dependent will be supporting themselves in your app when you are going to study in us take care of all those things so that you can get your us visa also important is to like subscribe and share this is important because i also need motivations i also need you your support so keep liking keep sharing keep subscribing and i'll meet you again in the my next video bye till then take care